So today I'm trying five viral makeup hacks to see if they're worth the time, the money, or the effort. Will I be successful? Will they be useful? Or will I send myself into yet another downward spiral? In today's episode of Trying Weird Things I Saw on the Internet, Live, Laugh, Love. I also want to give a big shout out to our sponsor today, which is Karma. More on that later. Hello. Okay, so the first thing that I really wanted to try out was foundation. It is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in Powder. I got it on Amazon in the color 180 Linen. Now I know my nails are really good. They are press ons. If you follow me on Instagram, you get to see the chronicles of the time I went to a nail salon in Miami and the lady decided to get her hair done halfway through my nails so I went to Target and bought press-ons and it worked out really good for me <laughs> so if you want more daily story times and to see like what shit goes on in my life follow me on Instagram it's a really good <laughs> so this is what it looks like it's got like a little diamond pattern on it it looks like it's gonna be my color I hope I don't have anything on my skin right now it's a bit oily oily I feel so healthy so it comes with a little sponge on the bottom and also a mirror, which for a fairly inexpensive foundation, I think that is a really good thing. It seems to be like sturdy and well built. I would expect foundations like from YSL and Gucci and Chanel to like do this, but they don't. They put in the bare minimum. They really ride the coattails of their name. Oops, am I gonna get canceled for that? So I'm gonna get closer so you guys can see my skin. Uh, yes, I do have under eye bag. Ooh, this, this is, is really, really not cute. cute. I had a white head here this morning. And I popped it, you know. Live, love, laugh. This is my little mustache that I should probably shave. I can't tell if these are pimples or moles. I think th this is a mole. Cindy Crawford moment. I think my skin's been breaking out a lot because I've been sleeping in my makeup. Um, because I've been sleeping over places and not bringing makeup remover because, you know, no, I kind of just let, let the, the night, night take me. I'm going to go ahead and dip this into here. Okay, now here we go. I'm nervous. Is this, I like, this better be the movie magic moment that I've seen on TikTok for months or I'm gonna be highly upset. Here we go. Okay. okay let's try again. This kind of reminds me of the MAC setting powder that I used to wear in high school. Like, I used to glob on so much of it. Actually, you know what? I don't hate this. Do I like this? Do it like on half my face. But at least it's the right color. Like, I feel genius for ordering this online. Okay, I think it's really good. Okay, let's do my giant forehead. Honey, it's only awkward for you, not for me. Yeah, okay, it works really good. I mean, it gets rid of any, like, little tan I had, but I don't care. Okay, so this side has the foundation on, and this side does not. I think it worked really good, actually. I think I would highly recommend this product. It is making the hairs on my mustache a lot more significant and prominent than usual, than liquid foundation does. So if you are a hairy girl, maybe Maybe get rid of the hair, accept the hair, or don't use this foundation. And I haven't heard anybody else say that when they've been reviewing this foundation, so I feel like I just gave you guys a really good hack today. The hairs are just like jumping out. Look, wait, I'll zoom. Hi. I miss you guys. Get closer. I'm gonna go take this off just because the next thing that I want to do is literally insane and I need a clean face to do it with and a clean mind. You're crazy, actually. By the way, if you guys do want any of this makeup for like a discount, I would suggest you use Karma. Basically what it is, is a Chrome extension, which helps you save money. It's also an app. I love Karma because I can save so much money, like all the makeup that you guys see in today's video, I use Karma to get a huge discount on. Also wait, don't skip the ad, they are giving away a $200 gift card today, so if you wanna win some money, I will contact you July 1st if you win. If you wanna try Karma, all you have to do is go on your little computer, open up Google Chrome and download the Chrome extension Karma. From there, it's super easy. You just go on all your favorite websites and it basically saves you money. You can get notifications via email or mobile push when an item you've saved goes on sale, has a relevant coupon or comes back in stock. Also, I have multiple wish lists where I save all my favorite products and I can organize them. Also, it scans the web for coupon codes and applies them at checkout automatically. Basically, it's a special feature if you use Karma on your computer, so the Chrome extension is totally a must. Also, they have a new feature where you can earn cash via PayPal when you shop from select retail partners. If you guys do want to check out Karma and save a bunch of money, there's a link down in the description box where you can download it easily. Also, if you are interested in winning the $200 gift card, it's super easy. There's just three rules. All you have to to do is download Karma, save at least one item to your Karma list, and also follow me on Instagram. It's at Blur Walnut so that I can notify you if you win. Okay, back to the hacks. <laughs> okay, so for my next magic trick, I will do something completely useless and fun, which is this thing that I've been watching. It's like this square makeup.
makeup tutorial thing. I think it's completely useless, but I've always wanted to try it, and we know how much I like useless things and men. So I have a couple products that I've grabbed for this thing. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette. I don't even know if they still sell this. <laughs> I carry this with me from country to country so I can make really cringy TikTok. I also got these eyeliners in a bunch of different colors so that we could do like an eye look as well. This is how these look. I have just really grabbed all the shades of my summer and winter foundations um, as well as like some browns and whites and I figured I could be an artiste. You guys remember when I used to paint when I used to be in quarantine? I have not painted anything, which is kind of upsetting. And then to draw on my face, I figured I would just use this white eyeliner. I saw some people do it with black, but I think that it will make my skin too dark. This is the NYX Epic Wear Eyeliner. And thank God it's like a twisty. Please be a twisty. Please be a twisty. I'm never going to buy an eyeliner sharpener. I'm just not going to do it. Okay, anyway. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually mix all the foundations on this plate. So I think this is half my face. I can't even draw a straight line on a piece of paper. Like, whose idea was this? Mine, okay. Oh, God. James Charles, who, honey? And it is ridiculously embarrassing to admit this. I'm thinking I should do, like, a little bit bigger blocks than she did because I am less patient. I also have ADHD, so that doesn't, like, help anyone. My face is, like, has curves to it, so I don't really understand how they're doing straight lines. <laughs> I feel like we can fix it up at some point. This one goes down here. Oh, frick. I bet my parents are so proud of me. You know what? If you see this video on TikTok, you should give it like a million likes because this is so time consuming. 600 hours later. Okay, now the fun part, <laughs> coloring in between the lines. So we got my little plate of colors here. I also got some special brushes for this. I'm gonna use this square brush to cause this mess. So I'm thinking we start with the dark colors first because I know where those go. I mean, oh no, we should start with the light colors because like, I don't know. So I'm gonna take the lightest color and like fill in this little cube here. Wait, that's too light. Oh, okay, whatever, we're gonna blend it anyway, right? Oh my God, I need a mirror for this. I think you can have the lines underneath kind of messy because like, Technically, you can like fix them. I'm not really sure like that's the best idea, but it is an idea that I have. Where else would light go? Let's do like a regular foundation color next to it and just draw a square. So like that's my actual foundation color. I also tend to put blush here. So I think you really have to keep the cubes like separate because otherwise it's gonna like, it doesn't will have the same effect. Okay, so I think the problem with this hack is that to have enough of a difference for TikTok to create like viral content, you need to have different cubes of different colors next to each other. But because the way I like contour, I don't think I can do that realistically. Like I could only do it for the video, but I feel like the colors would be off. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on with my nose here. My phone's on low storage, which is really upsetting because I'm having a great time doing this. I need peace in my heart. Also, I feel like my face is drying. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and start going crazy. Like, ridiculous is what this is. Like, I'm not even sure how this makes sense. Okay, so I did the lips, which were probably the fastest part. Now I gotta do the eyes. I'm not gonna give up on this. Normally I give up on everything, including my relationship, but I'm not giving up today. This is it. This is all I have in me. This is what I did, and now I'm gonna go out. I feel like this kind of worked out. I feel like a really cool editorial. Do we think this is gonna blend out nicely or do you think I'm going to look insane in about five minutes? Got a wet beauty blender here. Should we start, start at the, the bottom, bottom or the top? top? I think the bottom, right? right? Oh. I almost like don't want to keep this going just because of like the massive color difference. Like I would rate this hack a zero out of 10. Let's do the lips, I guess. I mean, we have nothing, nothing else, else to lose, lose here. Them. I mean, my dignity is gone. It's long gone. So true. I how long this took and how truly horrible it looks. 
I would not recommend this to anyone except my worst enemy. Please feel free. There's too much foundation, first of all. Second of all, it's the wrong color. It's gray and pink. This worked out tremendously for me. I look like the peanut butter baby. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. That was not fun. My parents wanted me to be a doctor, but I decided to be this instead. Skin's gonna have a meltdown. I'm turning red. Okay, so this is the third hack, and I realized that I look different. It's because um, after my mental breakdown over the thing I just did, I decided to do my makeup so I can look like a professional YouTuber. So for this hack, basically what you do is you apply red lipstick underneath your eyeballs, and that's supposed to make you look more young or cool or hip, I don't know. So basically I just did my makeup normally. My curls kind of fell out, but live, laugh, love. Um, I got this wet and wild lipstick because I'm not wasting cash money on something that I'm probably not gonna wear. And then, so basically I just saw her like just apply it here. I don't know how much I'm supposed to put. It seems like a good amount. It also looks like I've been crying, which I do most days. And she is the moment. Do, 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 do. Why does she look so like cool when she did it? And I just look like I'm, oh wait. It just looks like I got a sunburn, but I do actually like it. Does it look cool? This might be one of the makeup hacks that I actually use. Normally I do put my blush here to make it look like I have a natural suntan. So this is like not that much different. I know it's supposed to be like more here. For my last and final hack, you guys are gonna like scream. So I saw this TikTok where this lady basically says all you have to do is dump your face in a bowl of water and then your makeup will stay more. Thankfully this is the last one so I don't have to walk around with a wet face for the rest of the day. Um, so I will BRB with a bowl of water. Hi guys, so it is time for me to um, do the water bowl makeup hack thing. I've purposely left this until 2 in the morning, not because I procrastinate, but because I don't think this is going to work. Welcome to my kitchen where I have bowls, rotting bananas, but I do have a will to live in here, so that's new. I really just don't want to do this right now, but I will participate for the views. So, I said just dunk your face in water. I don't know what we're supposed to do after. Like, do I dry my face? Probably watch the TikTok before I do this. <laughs> face in, dip, dip face, face in water. Why do I feel like that's a lie? Like, I clickbait, but we all know that I'm kidding. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> bottoms up. Or bo bottoms down. I'm scared. I breathe it in. Don't breathe, obviously. I don't know why. Okay, I'm just gonna go really fast. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm scared. I would recommend that experience to nobody. Okay. Does my makeup look better? Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you next time on the Wacky Walnut channel. What now? <laughs> I should go outside like this. <laughs> Okay, bye. Also guys, don't forget to click the link in the bio to download Karma to save money.